of Modern Motors. Today we got a very, very special episode for you guys because we have a 2023 Julia and we have a 2017 Julia modified. So today's video, our thought process over the modified Julia versus the stock Julia. What difference we see, just differences in overall in the year comparison. Uh, but we're just gonna do our final thoughts on it. So to start off, I didn't like that they didn't have the cup holders here. In my 2017, I bought some for like $10 on Amazon and I put those on. Put those on. I, I just need it. But the thing is, is that with the 2023, they definitely upgraded a lot of things and gave you more storage. Because personally for me, I carry a lot of stuff and I have nowhere to put it in my 2017. That's why I have the cup holders here. But even here, right, you get extra storage here, which is dope. The cup holders are a lot pushed in, which is even better because... <laughs> In my 2017, they sit back here. So when I put my drinks, they're like hunched over a little bit and I hate that. So the fact that they move the cup holders a little bit forward, which is really dope. I just love this whole setup. So this is a steering wheel. Um, I, I personally love the steering wheel. The only thing is, is I, I like the red button. I like the little details that I have in my 2017, which is a little clover here. Um, so let's move over here. First of all, this is gorgeous, okay? Th this is absolutely stunning. Like, you have everything here. I can go through my phone, go through my favorites, contacts, go back. You know, the you have everything here. You have the vehicle information, like the maintenance. It's all here. In my 2017, I had to go on a scavenger hunt to look for all these things. So the fact that everything's here is so dope. I hope you guys can see that on the on the screen a little bit. That's the gauges right there. Super cool. Super cool. Then you have a little thing for your key, little holder, which is dope. I like that. You know the little details. This is really cool. Um, the only thing is, is that I don't like that this isn't carbon fiber. That's just me. That's just a preference for me. But this is all, this is just beautiful. Then when you open this up right here, you have a charger for your phone. And you have some more space, which is dope. Yeah, the seats are nice back here too. Okay, so if you're in the back seat, this is how you open your sunroof. There's just a, you know, which is okay, I guess. I wish it opened the whole the whole roof, but you have your heated seats back here, which is really, really cool. And then you have your own little chargers. That's dope. That's really dope. Oh, let me show you guys something else. Check this out. You can extend the seat if you wanted to. Isn't that freaking cool? I really, really like this interior. I like the whole setup. I, I like everything about it. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> it's hard, right? Because my, my alpha is completely modified. My 2017 is, it's loud, it's, it's, it's fast. Don't get me wrong, this one's fast too. Um, but once you get a tuned car, like my 2017 is, is tuned. Once you get it tuned, it, it's just a different driving experience. This one, it, it's, it's fast, but it's not my Julia fast. Um, it is very comfortable. I feel like the seats, I don't know if you can see them, but like the seats, I'm gonna pull over here in a little bit. The seats, I feel so much more comfortable in. I feel tight. I feel like I just feel snug, and I feel like I feel that in the Sparco seats as well. But I feel a little even more like just held together. But it's great. It's just not. <laughs> I think I'm just used to my freaking loud julia that this is weird i keep 
I keep wanting to hear the exhaust. I keep waiting for the loud ass exhaust and it's, it's not coming. But she's quick though. One of many things I love about these cars is you can get up in top speeds and you won't even feel it. It's been a while since I've sat in a stock Julia, to be honest. And today I got to drive this while I got to drive this for like over an hour. Hindsight being able to drive both cars, uh, my interpretation of both. Obviously the tunes help out significantly. Shifts better, sounds better. The intake, you can hear the blow off valve. It's more responsive, it's quicker. You're gonna achieve most of that with your exhaust because this thing is quiet. I forgot how quiet they come from the factory, but the thing is dead quiet. So fun, obviously exhaust is gonna help, intake's gonna help, tune's gonna help, everything we have pretty much. Yeah. The one the one thing that I still am kind of like iffy on, you really don't need the downpipe. That's my only that's my only gripe that we still probably didn't need. But overall, everything else, the more mods, the more fun. All right, that's the yeah, consensus like, here. Yeah. More mods, more fun. Yeah. Really cool seeing is what a stock one looks like, but I can't explain to you guys how boring the Jolly is. I mean, the handling's great, but it just doesn't have that like, you know what I'm saying, right? It doesn't have that like. Yeah. Pep in I thought maybe it was just a Stelvio, like this, because we obviously now have the Stelvio. I thought maybe the Stelvio was just like because it's bigger. No, this this came just as boring. So <laughs> you just gotta you just gotta modify it. Isn't it weird that ours to think ours used to look like that? Crazy. Just black, huh? For those of you who haven't been a part of the channel, and this is your first time clicking on any one of our videos, and if you're coming from TikTok, maybe you're coming from there, uh, just the differences between the two. Clearly you see the hood, we have carbon fiber hood. Clearly you see the front bumper, this is a TI bumper, and this is a QV bumper. We have the carbon V. Um, obviously the whole grill inserts down here look completely different from over here. What else? Fenders, QV fenders, stock fenders. Carbon, no carbon. Carbon, uh, sunroof, which might be better in some cases. Other than that, that stays the same. Rears, spoiler, no spoiler. Wow, the spoiler really does help. <laughs> that looks, it looks like uh, somebody without a mustache. And then the diffusers, diffusers. Obviously wheels to wheels, big, nice, medium wheels, really small, skinny wheels. Interior to interior. So the difference is that people have asked us to like how we got this done. Like this is like the OEM one, which I don't know if some comes glossy, but this one's flat, flat black. Ours used to be chrome and we got the whole car painted. We got this painted. And for those of you who don't know what paint code this is, this is Nissan Midnight Purple on a Julia. And we got this whole thing painted if you guys weren't aware. Kind of the same thing I said, same, same up here, double stitched. Uh, double stitch on ours as well same material for the top half we do have a 2020 shifter so our shifter actually looks the same as that one we do have a 2020 steering wheel clusters different this i feel like this portion's a little bit smaller i haven't gone through all the modes we still have carbon carbon kind of like this it's like this brushed metal finish I think you still can get those in carbon, but like, it's like a brush metal. And obviously center console, center console. Look at the seats are gorgeous. But I will say, now sitting in a stock car, I do love me some good Sparkos. Carbon, 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 carbon. I think eventually we should upgrade the 2020 console. We have to. Honestly, it looks, it looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I, at first I thought it was just like cup holders and a wireless charger and I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna pay that. But it's kind of just, it's kind of more than that, right? Yeah. Here's my thing. A lot of people say, don't get the 2017 or don't get used because they're more problematic. That may be true. More of the batteries may be more problematic, but you get these for a really good deal. And if you guys are new here for whatever reason, we picked this up for $18,000. The MSRP on this is like 40 or 50 grand, which you're getting like, you know, it's the same car. It is the same car, just, just not. <laughs> And to be fair, Alfa Romeo makes it very, very easy to modify them. Hence, a lot of the things that you see on here either look better in most cases or, you know, the same. I didn't like it. 
if you don't have the money and you just want to get into an alpha cheaper better modify upgrade repair you're gonna save more money than paying 50 grand now if you don't want to spend all that money or if you're not into modifying your cars yourself this is definitely a better option i think it's still very expensive at the 40 50 dollar msrp we got the same car for 18 grand and have only made it better with upgrades and modifications as far as increasing value probably not we'll probably actually increase no value uh maybe to the right buyer <laughs> but to somebody you know you're gonna get more not really you're gonna kind of lose value here too so it's you know it's what poison do you want to drink really <laughs> right i mean that's what it comes down to final thoughts i'm i'm always a sucker for a good deal as you guys know from the channel i would much rather buy it for 18 grand and modify than 50 grand and and have it stock right kind of makes i mean i mean you know I think ours just looks more aggressive. Yeah, this, this, I mean, this thing, here's the thing. Car to car, if I had 50 grand right now to buy one of them, <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm buying this one with the miles and all. Yeah. Again, that may not be you, maybe have too much sentimental value, but I'd much rather be driving this. Really cool of Alfa Romeo Fort Worth to let us drive this Julia 2023 Julia for the day. Um, really had a good experience with it. Really got, I have, you know, I haven't got to drive one yet. So I thought it was really cool of them. So that's it. We're actually going to pick up our Stelvio now. We're going to end today's video. Appreciate you guys for watching another one of our videos. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, don't forget. Oh, I'm not wearing my merch. Merch. Purchase the merch on the website. And if you at See you in the next one.